what is also interesting with that book maybe i read a bit read to synopsis i think so so you can much more know it uh, about that book mm, so i reading synopsis what we have in the last pages so probably that be uh, much more information for you about that book fantasy book what i have at this moment and so listen Borvar Akatrapper is a half vampire, half man trained to fight evil. He protects a descendant of the Atlantis clan, Thomas, from werewolves and other agents of dark power who want to draw him to their side. Borvar's task is to bring Thomas alive to a clan convention in Sweden. The young student learns the secret history of fight between good and evil of his family. And uh, as well of as yeah as of other clans representative of Earth and other planets, including dwarves, dragons, yeti, leprechauns, mermines, vampires, and angels who wander through magical portals, gradually joining his team. Brave warriors undertake an unique fight against the dangers, solve riddles, and even face a betrayal. Fortunately, a ray of hope which can lead to victory flourishes slowly in the form of love. So, reflections. Well, let we start it. Imagining a night soon about to end. Clouds in the sky, their shapes glittering with warriors' shades ranging from navy blue, troge dark blue to a grey. The rising sun reveals itself slightly pink and then light yellow, orange and ultimately blood red. Many painter would make all efforts to acquire such true colors for creative patience, clearly made be magic that you know and powerful nature. Nature so much influenced be mankind, attempting to curb it like a wild horse, extort all its natural resources, and conquer is it to satisfy its daily needs, can still surprise and just juxtapose with, for instance, climate changes. Nature has not revealed all its secret yet. They can be good or evil, symbol of religious significance that can either unite or kill human begin pains and strangely have been developing a harmony of order and, and peace now as wildlife. It is obvious that nature exists and follows its own way like clockwork to interfere with that changes its cycle and may result in unpleasant consequences for ones who interfere. You can even say with the people change the cycle of the harmony according to the entertal time that has normalized for billions of forms of life on earth. Earth has become a kind of guideline for man king science the time of Homer, father of epic poetry, Copernicus, who stopped the sand and moved earth, Christopher Columbus, who discovered America, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, and many more scientists scholars travels and others who were able to face the world and its nature breaking their harmony to the play, new vision, touch, colors, theories into humans' brains, thus triggers time anew for the new generation. generation. Along with the development of civilization, the world of now on earth strings and we look into the universe and try to identify the new forms of life, of place of inhabit when the earth will no longer be 
suitable for living. Now, when we judge the world we know by the value of money, though we prove there is nothing else apart from that. Does it does this mean the world is ruled by money and good? God is money religions is just the three letter name of a listing company and and its share of rising of filling value to be traded. The Bible says God created the world understood today as the universe including nature on earth, which means a curtain harmony a created mankind who, looking from today's perspective, about it. Then what affects life? God, nature or mankind? Remember, there exists something called time. So interesting to Albert Einstein. Time has had exist, exist before the world was created. Science, God, had always been on the very world existence. Means the functioning, except the existence of life, does time as well. Man wants to understand time, to refract to find the way to master it to break its code. He hoped to find out who to go beyond and in utilize it and to change fate which existing and be fanned from in the name of money of look for the elixir of the so desired immortality. That this is proof there is nothing after death and that is why we are afraid, afraid of it and want to avoid it. The meaning of the very word life must be considered, considered from a material and not material perspective. We can assure it represents the word of God, who created man is his own image. And the outset, everything is wild but the established and develops as does mankind. At the curtain moment, the equilibrium may be violated and history reveals numerous examples of evil such as wars, concentration camps, labor camps, people change to animals and abandon their human value become wild, other abandon humanity lost their rationality, dignity, reasons, fight and give into their fate. But those who struggle to survive must turn to beasts that are intensive to everything to stay alive, defend themselves A for N A, I for the I. Does the not material words exist? Is it, is it separate from the material world via a closed door? Maybe the two worlds exist side by side and do not intervene on an every basis. You talk about them, watch them on television, hear about them on the radio, read about them in social media and learn about different cases of crossing the border between the two worlds and the existence of forces we are not really familiar with. So if non material what exists, is it the only one? I can be most interesting to say good and evil in the exist, and for sure they do. Hidden and consolate are on both sides of the words, irrespective of their number, and have been fighting each other since the dawn of time. Whereas nature is linked between the two, as it is, has always been and will be wild and struggles to survive, providing the power and shelter for both forces, defined as the divine ones. The divine because in the Greek mythology there were good and evil gods, and in the Bible, a devil is a fallen angel also created by God. Different groups have emerged among people that still exist and develop and they may stand on either side. Some are greedy for power, money, domination over earth, 
or even the universe. They take advantage advantage of the offer of evil, evil of will fight this who would to not be esquiescent because of their humbleness, humbleness and the reconcili reconciliation with nature to simplify the evil want to take control over the world and the good fight to save their freedom is there anything more and un unnatural inhuman wild uncontrollable than that sorry for my language but maybe i'm not specialist but if you really much more better know it english so definitely much more better you'll be reading so that book the chapter one the book the adventures of borvar a descendant clan of atlantis volume one chapter one it was named fog never extinguish the light of hope even if the sky get tired of blue say it one day the bob dylan a clock tower of Wrocław City Halls was about to strike midnight. The wind chases clouds across the sky, uncovering the full moon not born, not born white, but slightly red because of the vols, volcanic dust drifting from Iceland. It had rained for a five days, but that very evening the rain stopped. The air collected down and fog covered the city as a layer of spilled milk of thick spider web. The range of visibility was barely one meter. The full moon could only be seen from the top floors of skyscrapers. It was Sunday. There were just a five cars moving in the dark streets, so it seemed as if the city was asleep or even abandoned by its inhabitants. Streets and narrow passages were marked by blue-red, blended yellow and orange stream, street, lamps. street lamps. The fog descended a bit after the last stroke of midnight. A moment later, as the clock bell filled silent, the sounded sudden and horrifying howl of wolves and coyotes, coupled with the squeaks and screams of birds, rose into the air. The roar of tigers, lions, bears, and zebras shattered shattered the peaceful night. Animals ran around the fence, attaching the bars and making sounds that were difficult to identify. The sounds of panicky animals from Wrocław Zoo could be heard for a five kilometers, few kilometers. The reminders faded away in the fog. A zoo security cabin in Zygmunt Wroblewski Street, just like the zoo, it's situated opposite the Century Hall. That night, two security guards, both elderly fellows, were on duty. The next round was scheduled for two o'clock, so they had an alarm clock set and dozed off. When the clock struck midnight and the panicky sound of the animals burst out, one of them guards fell off his hair and the other jumped off a bed and bolted towards surveillance screens. His eyes were full of fear as he looked of his shivering mate getting off from the floor. Mi -mi Mirek, what the fuck? What was it? He asked in a trembling voice, slightly stuttering as if his vocal cords had Try it out. Mirek, after having fallen down, was temporarily more shocked than his colleagues, so he was only able to shake his head and sh shrug, meaning he did not not know. He did it not know. 
C'est un truc, un look, and the imaginary. C'est un truc, Stan. Yeah, that was what had the name, the one with the person, the guardians. Stan took a look in the images recorded with cameras located all over the zoo, but the fog was still too thick to see anything. The animals were still crazy and frantic, so he called the deputy director, who was on a trip somewhere out of the city. Yarek, a new, newly employed deputy director, moved to Wrocław just after graduation. The zoo underway <clears throat> underwent a lot of changes when a few years early, the former managers, a married couple, were sacked. It was obvious Jarek would get the job because he had recently completed his postgraduate studies in veterinary science and environment protection had worked at some other zoological gardens in Poland and the zoo's director was his uncle so he was a perfect candidate yeah what's up Jarek answered his phone in a sleepy voices good good evening stamed Stan sorry to wake you but the animals have gone mad mad and we don't know what is going on can you send someone here the deputy director who was not fully awake called at last here not only the security of his voices but also a terrifying noise in the background for a while the touch the animals caused sense a approaching flood caused it be the existing rainfall nobody knew anything about and were trying to save their lives listen first of all calm down and walk around the side pay special special attention to the Szczytnik Bartoszowice Dyke, look for sinks of flooded spots and check the area by the summer restaurants where we uh, got the wedding reception party. I will call the guys to take care of the animals soon, said Yarek. Well, the waiter is a fool, so you, I will get there in a half an hour, maybe later. I am in Kozanov, you know. Stay and listen to instruction carefully and now called see his colleague's pale face he stood motionless and stared out of the window into a space filled with misty foamies and the noise made by animals stand here up the phone approached mirek and touched his arm i am scared sometimes something must be out there that sound is not natural said Mirek. Stan re finally recovered. It seemed he had done this job all his life. He was almost six feet tall, well boiled, broad shouldered, he had a thick moustache and his face wore wrinkled, windspread, waiter bet <coughs> waiter baton after years of work as a con con conscientious a security officer he was exper <clears throat> experienced guard but tonight he felt fear creeping over him yes i know i got scared too said stan without hesitation it is a bit strange but yarek said it's called be a flood after the rain rainfall so the animals are afraid we should go and check from on site first and then from the summer restaurant site. They have a wedding reception. There are probably will serve us one for the road. Get some torches and let's go. Yarek will come in half an hour. In half an hour or and he will send some fellows fellows to calm down the animals. Mirek was about 40, 
born in Wrocław and had lost his job and Volvo when crisis hit Poland. He was rather slim but not a fragile person who <coughs> easily give and becomes addict, addict, um, addicted or depressed. He took up uh, different jobs, sometimes better, sometimes worse, but not permanent. He decided to enroll of some vo vocational courses because his family of six needed support. On it was only him and his wife to bring home the bacon. It was a stroke of fate. He, he completed the course of, and became a security guard. At least, this is a story that he told when submitting documents and interview. Mirek looked at Stan and sighed deeply, as if he had held his braid for a couple of minutes. She showed he had calmed down and pulled himself together. First, they agreed to go to the just renovated Japan's gate, situated on the other side next to an office building, to find out the review level, and then they would carry on the summer restaurant. When leaving the security hut, they shut the door and leave a message saying they were doing the run. The fog demanded the beatings of the torches. The sound from the pens and the cage forces them to walk side by side. On their way, they tried to figure out whether they had passed the children's zoo. The path to the other end of the zoo was strange and although normally took the, to the 50 minutes to reach the opposite end. Now they walked very slowly and minutes turned to hers. They passed a car park on the air left, their left, and then they were curtained. They had already walked with the children's zoo because the donkey's pen was on the right, but it was impossibility to recognize its sound. They continued up to the <coughs> jun uh, junction near other pens, one of the ones occupied by a Patagonian Mara. Mirek, listen, we have to check everything careful. Stand, stop it and say it. I go straight on and you turn left first and then go ahead to the restaurant. Just in case we got walk it, uh, we go, we got walkie talkie and mobile phones. Okay. Mirek had only been working at the zoo for a month and it was his second job as a guard. Even though he was terrified, he nodded and moved forward, disappearing into a grey, misty night. Stan passed two other pens, unoccupied by lamps. They turned, then he turned left. The last straight, the running to the office building, which he did not see yet. Same at easy and ouch, and it was just a matter of time to cover it. Suddenly, the zoo calmed down as if, as if I be the touch of magic wand, and dead silence while at the air. Stan came to a dead stop, and his mind was blank. He prepared to penetrate the surrounding white and find reasons for the sounded silence. He moved slowly, hearing his boots on the crouchy sand. He felt he once not alone. He mind and conscience prompted, prompted someone must be watching him. Keeping the torch in his left hand, he carefully opened his pistol holder. He had a gas gun license issued by the director. He felt drops of sweat streaming down his forehead, shoulders and back. He called Barely Braid. He didn't release the air from his lungs, trying not to break the silence. He slowly moved forward, beat 
by Beat, ready to ready to use his gun and shot, either to express an order or in fear. He was not sure which one yet. A building with a high roof and a renovated Japanese gate emerged slowly from the sheet of the darkness. He went straight ahead, not even looking back, just right and left. Then suddenly, suddenly he heard a sound of a squeak, squeaking door, so shrill, shrill that it would have frightened a dead man. Stan Cold feel his stomach jump with fear. Then the air was filled with a strong hoarse voice coming through the open door. Freeze, whoever you are, said Trapper. I have a gun and I will not hesitate to use it. it. Stan gulped to respond quickly. God damn it, Bogdan, it's me, Stan. Where the fuck you got the gun from? Didn't aim at me. Bogdan was one of the oldest employees. He was almost 60 and would often stay overnight in the zoo. All touch, he owned a flat. He seemed to have put down rods in the zoo and swore to never live there. He held a PhD in biology and lovely helping with taking care of animals. People said he was a bit crazy and sometimes talked nonsense, but everybody liked him anyway, and his story of adventures all around the world. He was quiet, a Muslim, and countless scars, and all wounds, and he was very strong. Nobody call, called wind, nobody called wind an arm wrestling competition, competition against him. Not even young, Jim Lowers who would give up after a couple of seconds. Hard work and pain hardened the body and soul, and his were so mature that he called knock, called knock, knock, two opponents out. If a blink of an eye, you could easily recognize him, be, him be <coughs> by his voices, voice, and the funny way he dressed. He was like a hippie combined with a trapper, curly white hair, checkered street, and belt with a small knife attached to it, a pack containing different trinkets, a cowboy hat and boots, allegedly from crocodile skin, and finally white leg trousers. Now, coming closer, Stan saw a man who looked terrified and whose eyes were filled with a strange uncertainty and terror, as if he knew something but did not don't know what to believe it. it. But what great treat but what great treat called it be that would arouse such unusually <coughs> emotion in the 21st century. Bogdan could see everything clear now. He looked around, lowered his double barreled rifle, and said in a low voice, low voice, Stan, I am terribly sorry. Come, don't say anything, just come in quickly. Stan rushed inside. Bogdan shut the door and locked it in. He climbed the stairs, checking if the window were closed. Following Stan smelled and scent of incense. The boat reached an attic. There, there was a small pulpit there and there were bino binoculars on the tables. 
a lit cigarette returned to its owner fingers. The guard didn't know what to say. Everything was too insane. It would be a sense less to record everything that had happened that night as normal and real. He was expecting to hear, we've got you, as everything would turn out, but a crafted illusion. But it was not the case. Bogdan anxiously stared for a while, trying to break through the fog with the binoculars in front of his eyes and turning around as if to spot things he had seen before. He hung the gun over his shoulder. He never he, ne he knew companion stood still and waited for something to happen. He assumed Trapper had grown how had gone crazy with his age and of course with the bizarre waiter and behavior of the animals. After a five few minutes, Stan dared to speak. Bogdan, I know this fucking damn it days, but it's a total miss today. I call it Yarek. He'll be here in twenty minutes and promise 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 it to send a few guys down to help and to inspect the zoo to see if is to see if there is a flood bothering our lovely pets. If you had seen a shady armed character you could have called us. You know our number and the police number to avoid talking the rifle. What happened? Bogdan's hoarse voices sounded like a pirate from the movies on an uncle telling stories about distant lands. It seems the world of imagination crossed the border and entered Stan's real world. Bogdan continued quietly, slowly and confidently. I turned 60 quiet a few years ago. I have experienced a lot in my lifetime. Work it hard. In my pla many place, many places. No to gain Jane honors, but for the knowledge and fascination for the world which is absorbed with my sight, hearing and all sense. I didn't want to lose my beats. I wanted to me memorize everything and convert into a knowledge and research. As I, a kid, I left for the state with my parents. I could have had better life there, but would I be uh, happy as I'm here? For sure, there were places and situation it would uh, I'd want to experience again, but I afraid everything bad I I gone through return. Stan listened to this carefully, looking at the surrounding and at Trapper. He could not trust him as he had a gun and his behavior violated a safety rules. I understand. Nobody said the life's gonna be easy, said Stan. Everyone has to choose their own way. All Touch Fortune can play tricks on you. It did suggest that we go downstairs, turn to the lights on, have some hot tea, and put your light rifle away because you may pull the trigger, be accident, and we don't want that, do we? He glanced and the old fellow and reached for the gun to be given back. Trapper, Trapper clenched his fingers around the gun strap, adopting a strong and rigid posture. You think I've gone crazy? I can't tell, replied Bogdan. I'm not able to explain everything. 
as the time goes by quickly. There is not much time left, but is need. But in this world, there are things forgotten by us long ago. The things we do not believe it in, but in the very moment they heard Mirek on the walkie-talkie, his voice was full of fear. He spoke in terribly squeaky, squeaky, high. Few pitched voices, and if he were soon, soon to die, he seemed to cry, Stan, are you there? His voice soon sounded shaky, like he hadn't been cry crying. Jesus, make me strong, giving strength to my family. Stan, it's Mirek, for heaven's sh say sake. Say something, let me live. They need me. I knew something must be wrong. Stan and Bogdan stood still. The voice sounded unreal, just like a recording. But it, <clears throat> but it was happening here and now. The voice begged for help, but against what? Pick up quickly and ask where he is. Trapped pulled himself together. Tell him to hide in a safe places as soon as possible and the highest gr ground far from doors and windows now quickly stan picked up the receiver as if ordered be a sergeant and repeated bogdan words don i am the summer restaurant replied mirek jesus what happened here i don't know what it was i am a cold store god I must have returned. Call for help. Save me. They called here a walkie-talkie of signal and silence again. Stan looked at his watch. It was some 30 minutes after midnight. He took his mobile phone and started dialing 911. You think I did not try? The old hippie glanced at him crocodile. They accepted my message, but no, they have their hands full with the fluid. They said the water broke leaves in Kozanu, Pshepole, and other places in Wrocław as well. The police have sent more patrols down there to be vig vigilant. I called here them, launching at my story, a naive old guy. One fellow who used the work here was once attached by some knife men downtown in a market square, and he and three more people was suffered sorry <clears throat> suffered injuries waited for the police to come for more than half an hour. Not only that, the victims were able to follow the knife men so they would disappear into the into the thin air. Good that they did. Good that they did. The policeman simply passed by us if the drunk knifemen, knife men, were ordinary pedestrians. What do you think they do when they find of the animals are going crazy? Your colleague locked himself a cold store, and another one is running around with his right rifle. Stan was already connected and spoke on the phone giving his personal details and relating the recent occurrence and of course wish pairing why wish wish yes wish pairing the information about Bogdan and his rifle go it a patrol will be sent soon they'll arrive and the security had and the main gate, so please wait there, say the policewoman and the other end. Um, it may de that sometimes most of people are involved in fighting the flood and Kozanova and other places. They say to her colleagues in the background, it seems today even guards on duty party and the weekend. I told you, said Trapper. But anyway, what about the security guards who always use it to be here? They didn't, they, <clears throat> they didn't get their new contracts, said Stan. 
feeding he had got into a Monty Python. Monty Python film. And what for? Have you ever seen a thief running away with a stolen lion or rhino? Trapper smiled, then sprang up and started shouting, running downstairs, his voices gradually grating, getting quieter. Let's go, follow me. Mirek is already there, alone, alone. We must be quick. Do you smoke? I grew out of it some time ago. Then you need to start again, said Trapper, as if he told a joke. The run in a big room at Stan saw weapons like those displayed in museums and some other pieces as well. There was a crossbow and a bow with a quiver full of arrows with strong metal heads resembling harpoons on over one meter long sword fitted with a hilt covered with inscription in languages the guard did not know. Did it not know? Did it not know? Serrated knives with share like teeth and a club with several legs streaking out and pointing different directions, as well as an ancient weapon of unknown use. The modern weapons were double barrelate rifle on Bogdan's shoulder, a large bore gun like a 44 Magnum from Dirty Harry Ferraturing Clint Eastwood, a single barrelate shotgun and boxes of cartridges. Jesus, you've a complete arsenal. Are you ready for the third world war? Can, I can't believe it. What is going on here? Trapper opened his backpack, but we put weapons and cartridges into it. Here, take another backpack. Fill it, said Trapper in the, in the highly serious voices of an old man. I will show you how to shoot, but first, listen to me. I gonna repeat myself when the evening approached, I sat on a hair here, but the northern gate. As everyone knows, I often replace Marek, I guard, working is the area. First of all, I can sure, assure you the animals are not threatened by the high water in the river, but there is something which made or lovely pits, as you call, call them, behave weird. I know what is, it is. I have already survived once, and I hope they won't not bother me here when I older. But as I can see, the trouble will follow me to different places until the very end. Can you be more specific? Stance did not understand a word. What I hear and see around me seems to be a battle between good and evil in a fucking film. What going here? A five minute ago, up there, I hope that it won't not turn to be true. All that my trip to America will be an ouch, replied Bogdan. I think I have to tell you the truth. I know it won't be easy. The media floods, it was Plus is us with information, and we either don't believe it anything or listen to everything they would tell us. They must be a some someone uh, guiding them, but we are fucking something more serious today. Listen, I am sure you know a story of Frankenstein the monster. Stan nodded. Some 60 kilometers southwest of Wrocław, there is a town called Zemkowice Śląskie, situated not far from famous Prussian strongholds in Srebrna Góra, which was not different than Napoleon's army, continued Trapper. In fact, the town was founded at the beginning of the 13th century and carried the name of Frankenstein until the end, until the end of World War II. A book titled Frankenstein, the Mother Prometheus, written by Mary Shelley about a scientist 
and his work is not directly connected with the town. Chile wrote the book full of admi <coughs> admiration for Byron and his style. There's a castle El Tauch Reinet in his town, a legend of plague spreading across the whole of Europa in the 17th century and 18th century, this, uh, the chemating its population story of three huge fires and words that cannot be forgotten. During the fires a plague broke out. It was soon discovered groups of gravening helped spirit, the plague to increase the profits. Routlessly they robbed different objects, latches, doors, windows with infected parts cut of the bodies of dead victims. The culprits were captured on the night attempting the throw dead body pieces into a well. The court's sentence was obvious the time at the time to cut gravigers parts off, to crush their limbs, to drag them the horses until the gates come out from their bellies. Unfortunately, some <clears throat> missing parts from Chopet of bodies were never found. Rumor had it there were burned, but in no but I know there was someone who used them for experiments and believed me, the bodies infected with the black dead did not harm that person. We paused for a moment to take a break. We have to mention another vital event that combines that legends you must have there heard about the crusaders the ossified medieval europe rushed eastward colored in the pope or to regain the holy land in the name of god the struggle between god and evil is older than the world we live in but ring then it was significant issue. We only know some basic facts. Countless valuable records are classified and the parts available to the public contain changed and the manipulated description meaning and that dates be those those who touch the control it everything. Then the Renaissance and the Reformation followed with the groups of people who wanted to honor the truth, but they were provided with the dose of misinformation, and that is how new ages came and went, the new ideas which were later replaced by yet never think, but yet never thinking. The security officer brain stopped processing because of the Ab <clears throat> abundance of information and the man had to sit down to do to a student's rise is blood in blood pressure noting this trapper fetching something to drink this will help you have a smoke too to reduce to smell of your sweet and fear say trapper thanks shit this is strong and I gladly have that that smoke now," replied Stan. The long forgotten taste of cigarette smoke affected his taste buds. A uh, flew down of his lunch, causing a feeling of satisfaction. By bit by bit, his tongue protruded, trying to catch the last molecules uh, of the magical famous. It's interesting. How interesting intensity a huger gratification can be the feeling you den <clears throat> denied yourself a long time ago and now in such a moment it can help compensate for the state of mind of body and body is calming you down hushing fears mastering your body helping to think a few matters over few matters over. Damn it, that's just what I needed. Stan relaxed and smiled. And the drink I gave you is sake. 
replied Trapper. Let me sum it. Thousands of years ago, people cohabited with uh, other nations and powers which were perceived as gods, elves, elves, devils, angels, put into Greek myths, legends, fairy tales. Each of them wanted to live and endure, but they were enemies, and it was not clear what which side they were, good or evil. Can we blame the animals keep here for being the eater hunters of prey? They were simply created that way be a natural time, and who knows, good or gods, so might even at aliens. He smiled gently. Bogdan loaded his gun in the main time and showed his companion how to re reload, aim and hold the gun while pulling a trigger. What the fuck do I have to aim at? Is there just one object or more? The security guard asked suddenly. Well, yeah, old age has its problems and I forget to uh, mention the important bits. In short, on the side of God, there were some countries and organizations such uh, as the Holy See and the Vatican in Rome and the Roman Empire, Aztecs and even early ancient Egypt. They all defended people against evil, but of course there were black sheep among them. The Roman Empire, Troj, its conquests, crossed the border and violated the territories of the powers of darkness which were worshippers be unaware tribes often without any access to civilization the aztecs would not kill thousands of people on altars every day without a reason these people were infected with bites or scratched scratches and they would some would come alive at midnight to wreak havoc. Havoc of their herds were not removed. Similarly, the kingdom of pharaohs fought against the demons that, among the other things, seized humans' bodies at night. Today we call it an exorcism. That is why corpses were embalmed after removing the intentions or cremated by the vikings for example to prevent the power of darkness from reviving the body of a brave warrior but this knowledge is kept silent remember there is a soul in a body and revived bird body has a new proprietor like a shield of difference snail each civilization struggled in a specific manner but as you might know civilization were con connected in some way for example by pyramids through with construction constructor and rulers communicated it wasn't columns who discovered america pyramid were in fact provided with a mysterious structure that made it possible to move from one end of the earth to another or maybe even to other planets it is hard to say who lived there and whether 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 they could have affected those on earth each civilization had its warriors and special forces just like crusaders the knights templar the Order Brothers of the German House of St. Mary of Jerusalem, Teutonic Knights, Ioannitis. Stan simply stared a trapper. He felt ghost bumps forming on his arms and hoped that all he just heard was only in the imagination of the old, of the old fellow. Yeah, it's clear. We religious people no, there is good. Good. 
What about evil? Evil. What is it and is hiding in the darkness? You know, the porter Marx is sick. At least he was. He and the director were responsible for a quasi uh, esquisition of new animals, and he, as far as I know, was once bitten and scratched by a wolf brooch with from Siberia. Several years ago, several years ago, I organized the rapid response forces to fight evil in Poland, and I over a hundred and one percent sure Marx was infected, and one. And today confirms that it's midnight. He lives on the other bank on the river. Wildness attracts wildness, and the zoo is full of death. You'll find that out yours of tonight there is a bit of true is every film. So listen to what I am saying, and maybe you will come out of it alive. Are you telling me? Are you telling me Mark turns into a werewolf a midnight because he was one bitten by a wolf? And what do you mean be the repeat response forces? said Stan, not believing a word. It was formed ages ago out of the bravest warriors. It went down through the generations. The <coughs> crusaders were to stop the spread of evil including werewolves and other monsters that came from Africa and distant Asia. That is why Polish peasants and villagers who first rushed to the battle were massacred and, uh, and in fact helped the enemy spray, spread they forced be becoming infected. You must accept vampires are not just an twiddle. People made a pact with Kertain's clans for the immunity of Kertain family groups and their subordinates. subordinates. Prince Dracula fell in love with a vampire and became a vampire himself. Centauri to the theories that you might be familiar, familiar with the can reproduce and Nadia gave beard to his son, a vampire, who beat a transformed the father. Everybody knows him, but not the fact that he the future Dr. Frankenstein and son of Prince Dracula. For ages, the son blamed himself for his father's transformation. Together with the repeat response forces, he looked for a cure for evil. Only several clans know where the princess, prince, and doctors reside now. Victor Frankenstein, who changed his family name not to be associated with his father, use it to live in different places, even in the wild areas of the future Republic of Poland, where a city named Frankenstein was established. He scrunished evil weakness and provided the forces with information. Trapper confused Trapper continued his story. He tried to invent a cure of plague when he epidemic broke broke out, but he had to test it. Sick people were weak and there were no volunteers. He could not experiment on himself, so he decided to create his own human being to experiment on. Well, I know it might seem inhuman. But all inventions happened at the expense of someone or something. 
he had to leave the city after his servants slip up. You see now how much is going on, and according to the media, we are uh, we are well informed. That's crap. As far as Mark is concerned, I've been watching him and the way he's been behaving recently. He does not he does not eat much at work. He stares away from the light. His senses are sharpened. He is able to sense sense my nose mishes and the animals run away from him as if they can sense malice. There are tropical symptoms. I want to talk to him and call our guys, but the director, he don't know what to do it. He said he would take care of it himself, but he is not here. He holds a place in the organization of the fallen angels. He visited other current countries to submit his re report of the spreading evil, but believe me, Werewolves are not our only concern. I thought he would make it back, but he didn't. So now, discussion, it is no time for action and teamwork. I know this is a lot to take in, but I'm sure you you are manage ready. You are manage ready? Ready? Stan kept silent for a while. Everything he experienced, experienced, encountered, understood, believed it, and suddenly became meaningless. Now the only thing that matters was to survive and fight for life. Let me have another smoke and uh, a sip of sake. And let's go. Mirek should be okay in the cold room for a while. But there is wedding after party in the summer, and most likely it finished early. And as she, at his, they're alone, said Stan, is a shaky voices. Damn it! Let's move. Do not tell anyone about what you heard. But if you anyone stayed there and survived, when you spot phone wounds, bites, scratch it, anything soup. Suspicious, suspicious, then have no mercy. After the transformation, they'll be ruthless. Understand? In this case, the only cures the saved us infected is killing them. I have never killed anyone, said Stan, looking terrified. Who knows? Maybe today you're gonna shoot more bullets than Rambo. Don't think about it too much. Now it's time to go. The old trapper and the security guard side by side start to get ready for leaving the office building. They Poggy might evite it, the witch evil discussed and its tentacles reaching out. The door opened outward, outward and the dry tightness created a fully. They could feel a sudden gasp of the cold wind and here in that places it was the finish the first chapter fog the book fantasy the adventures of borvar a descendant of the clan atlantis and i'm author of that book and my name is lukas przelaskowski i'm from poland but i live in netherlands this moment book is available on amazon you can reading much more about book in my website lukasfrankenstein fast.com